Hey guys, how are you doing? And in this episode, we are going to see the reasons for Face ID has been disabled or Face ID is not available error on your iPhone. I'm also going to suggest a few troubleshooting steps that will help you to fix the problem only if it is a software related issue and not hardware. Recently, Apple have added an advertisement that shows a beautiful kid was playing with his mom's iPhone 13 that actually proves the Apple have added the ceramic coating on the iPhone 13, which makes it more durable the kid was hitting and dropping the phone everywhere in the home and i kind of felt the ad was kind of misleading because from my experience personal experience when me and my friend bought iphone 10 when it was launched he after a call he dropped it you know kind of slid it on the bed and it accidentally fell on the floor just from three feet height and of course, he wasn't wearing any case because some users don't like wearing case on the iPhone. We like how it actually feels in our hand and like to use it that way. So the important thing is we immediately picked up the iPhone from the floor and saw the face ID has been disabled. And I think the damage could have happened on the top section, which absorbed some G-Shock, you know, just from three feet height. It kind of made me feel really bad. We went to the Apple service center and it was the first generation face ID that iPhone 10 came with. And and luckily, we were able to get a free replacement of the iPhone 10 as it's been like within a couple of weeks, you know, since the phone was released and we purchased it on the launch day itself. The reason I felt that ad was misleading is mainly because the warranty, you know, the physical damage doesn't cover any of your iPhone warranty. Even if the Face ID is disabled because of your physical damage caused by the user, it won't be covered. Apart from the Face ID has been disabled, users also face Face ID is not available. Try setting up Face ID later error. And also the Face ID scan will not get completed. All you will see is just the scan step gets stuck on the screen when you try to authenticate and open an application or open an iPhone, unlock an iPhone in such scenarios these type of face id related errors are also happens some of these are software related issue which we can fix it uh, with the help of troubleshooting steps and the very first reason why face id gets disabled is physical damage so similar to the advertisement don't blindly go with the apple you know the ceramic shield and coating your phone may be durable the external surface uh, may be protected but from my personal experience and from the used markets that you can see right now you know so many iPhones are there without Face ID working because Apple don't have any proper program in so many countries uh, to let us replace or just repair the Face ID system alone. We have to replace the entire iPhone. So we are a proper case you know, even in some scenarios, auto box or UAG like cases could fail to protect from such internal damages. And the second important thing is water damage. So if there is any possibility that the water could have entered inside that speaker grill hole, you know, even though it is kind of adhesive protected, the water cannot easily enter. But still, depending on the water density, even if a single drop of water entered inside the face ID system could have affected and you might be seeing a hardware level damage inside. Apple recently launched the Face ID uh, replacement option where you have to pay certain amount. The amount is not yet officially available at Apple website or anywhere. So we have to check with the Apple service center and it is right now rolled out in very limited countries. It is not yet available in many countries. So instead of replacing the entire iPhone, Apple now have an option to just fix and replace the Face ID system if you are facing such errors, you know, hardware internal failures. And before trying out the troubleshooting steps that I'm going to suggest to you today make sure to remove any temper glass or screen protectors that you have applied on your iPhone to make sure that it is not interfering with you know the face ID scan from properly happening or while setting up if we have any issue you know sometimes if you have recently applied the screen protector then that could be the reason so you have to force restart your iPhone by pressing the volume up button once down button once and press and hold the power button Till you see the Apple logo. Don't remove your finger from the power button. Till you see the Apple logo, you have to keep on holding the power button and it will automatically force restart. And if it was a software related problem that prevented you from setting up the Face ID or use the Face ID, that can be fixed. 
Second important step is navigate to settings, face ID and passcode. Then scroll to the little bottom and see the reset face ID. You have to tap on that and you have to remove the ex existing face ID data setup and you have to set it up fresh with your current face ID data. Because sometimes if you are using the face ID for more than a year, for some reasons, if the face ID is not able to detect it properly, then you may see that face ID, you know, the scan stuck error and face ID may not be properly working. So try to reset face ID and then set it up as a fresh one and then you can start using it. An additional important tip is set up an alternate appearance. If you, you know, kind of wear glasses or hats or helmets, you know, you try to set up an alternate appearance so that it kind of improves the accuracy and it lets face ID to exactly map your face properly and then unlock it with several combinations and possibilities. And another important thing is if there was any software related bugs, it is important important to update to latest software. So for some reasons you are stuck in the old iOS software, then it is important to connect your iPhone to Wi-Fi or connect your iPhone to computer, launch iTunes and then perform a complete iOS software update. If you are running the latest version and still facing the problem, if Apple service center is near to you, you can take it to Apple service center and they'll help you to, you know, completely after backing up your iPhone data, they'll perform the iOS restore. Or if you like to do it yourself by referring some YouTube videos, of course, you can do an iOS restore to make sure there are no software related problems affecting the Face ID from properly working. So I hope these reasons helped you to understand Face ID has been disabled and Face ID is not available error. And if it is a software related problem, you can fix it with these steps. And for more useful iPhone, iPad and Mac related tips, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you find this video useful, do share it with your friends at Twitter and Facebook. Thank you and have a wonderful day.